Every year, more than 200 million televisions are sold worldwide. What's truly fascinating is witnessing how these televisions are assembled, tested, and packaged on a carefully planned production line with synchronized workers and machines, achieving incredible efficiency. But have you ever wondered how televisions are made? We visited a LED television factory to discover the manufacturing process. This mega factory spans over a million square meters and produces half a million smart televisions annually. Its specialty is manufacturing large televisions. It's a state-of-the-art production facility where people work swiftly. One of the current technological marvels is the liquid crystal flat screen, which is a key component found in televisions, computer monitors, and most smartphones. Compared to regular televisions, LEDs provide a more vibrant image with better contrast, and the product itself is thinner. Modern televisions are much slimmer than their predecessors, thanks to changes in manufacturing processes. Glass is the largest component of a flat-screen television and serves as the starting point for television creation. The process begins in a clean room where the television screen is manufactured. Liquid crystal displays are made by sandwiching two thin glass sheets. Then a layer of silicon is deposited, followed by a precise construction process that builds millions of transistor pieces. This step is repeated for tiny cells known as pixels on the screen. On the other glass sheet, a matrix of millions of red and blue subpixels, also called color filter arrays, is created. Small amounts of liquid crystal material are then dropped into the cells of the first sheet, and the two sheets are bonded together. Next, LEDs are installed. This machine is responsible for placing the LEDs on their strips. The challenge is to disperse their light across a screen that can be as wide as a meter and a half. The solution is a transparent plastic known as plexiglass. When light shines through one end, the structure of the plexiglass scatters it throughout the sheet. In the production chain, a robot positions the panel onto the light strip and adds two optical films that enhance the brightness and colorfulness of the display using the light. High-pressure plastic injection machines produce various front casings for different television sizes. Once the screen is finished, the frames are installed. However, liquid crystals won't function without power. The components that distribute that power are manufactured on site. The main board, called SSV, and the power supply board, known as PSB, are made with this machine. They are the brain of the television, and their circuits contain complex algorithms that ensure perfect image and sound quality. There are other boards as well, such as the control boards found on the sides of the televisions, the remote control receiver board, and the Wi-Fi board. Generating the image and sound involves using a large number of individual components that are placed one by one on thousands of motherboards. In this section, the boards are completed by inserting the components. They then undergo wave soldering, which electrically connects all the components. In the next stage, workers screw the motherboard to the back cover of the television. The electric screwdrivers used to attach the boards to the panels are carefully calibrated to avoid over-tightening and are suspended from above to reduce fatigue. Subsequently, the televisions go through a testing area where the necessary software and information are recorded in the memory for the device to turn on. After that, the back panels are added, and the finished televisions undergo a quick color test. At this point, the television is placed vertically and turned on for the first time. All the components are checked, and an electrical test is performed to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Some defects are not visible to the human eye, so highly sensitive scanners focus on key areas to ensure all the pixels are active and firing as they should. The average lifespan of these screens is 100,000 hours. Each pixel represents a point in the displayed image. High-definition displays have over 2 million pixels, and each pixel has three sub-pixels, red, blue, and green. By combining these three colors, a TV can display over a billion different colors. The final quality control process lasts a minimum of four hours, and each device undergoes rigorous testing. The entire process is supervised by highly skilled experts. The televisions are hand-packed before shipping in cardboard boxes. At the end of a long assembly line, hundreds of televisions are packed on pallets. Once the packaging is completed, the televisions are loaded onto a truck, beginning their journey to the customer. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might find it interesting. Also, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to keep learning. Thanks for watching.